Hi everyone, who's here? Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a huge haul, but sadly it's not as huge as it should have been because my bag was open when I got it. Uh, somebody had obviously decided that they wanted to have a look inside and see what I'd ordered. Just look and see there. The bag was cut and opened when I got it. This is how I received it. Looks like somebody's used a knife. I'm wondering if they maybe thought it was trainers because these are like two trainer box sizes and they maybe thought there was some. Like they got a shock when they found out it was diamond paint and stuff inside. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're a diamond painter i'm not quite sure what you would do with it um i have put a complaint in with the post office and they've told me because this is my parcel from gbfke um i've got to claim through them i can't claim through the post office which i can't imagine that's come from china like that i think that um that's been opened once it's got to this country but uh, Hey ho, these things happen sadly. But anyway, let's have a look at what I actually did get. I have had to open it up and have a look um, and see what was missing. Oh my goodness. I did have to open it up to see what was missing so I have had a look at these I had to look in the packets obviously um, to see which is sad I shouldn't have had to but there you are such is life but anyway I will show you what I've got and let's be positive and let's have a look and I have got a new item that I've not seen before so I think you'll probably guess what most of these are looking at them and uh, you know what I like so let's have a look at this one and we'll see if we can get through them all on one video but i think i may do two i don't know we'll have to have a look but this is something i saw it and i thought i don't understand this i'm gonna to have to order it and see what it is okay so now i got some last christmas of these these are like the tin trays and oh this has got a different uh, fastening there it's got like your ends of your shoelaces little metal bits to stop it coming off and your string for hanging we've got a lovely owl and he says welcome and it said magnetic i'm thinking magnetic how is that going to work then but looking at this it looks as though you just Get this one open. You get lots of interchangeable arms for your owl. Okay, so we have, let me see how that goes. So you're diamond painting the edges of your owl. There's nothing on the welcome, nothing on the background. Um, but then you get these little magnetic bits that are going to clip. You could just see it just fits there, look, on the owl's wings. So he's holding something. So this one is two love hearts. So you could put this for a Valentine's Day and these are all diamond painted. Which, what a different idea. I love this. Okay. We've then got the star. Again, just line it up there. And it just sticks on. And, yeah, it's not going to come off. Give it a good shake. Yep, that's not moving. So, and that's with the plastic on as well. Oh, that one's, I'll say it's not moving, but that one, the, um, cover's come off a little bit let me just uh, get that that wasn't me shaking it that's just how it's come <laughs> I'm not that strong <laughs> okay so that's arms number one and number two 
we've then got like a, a Christmas bauble, so we've got a Christmassy one. So that will just slot in there. And these are all special drill. And I just think this is wonderful. As I say, I didn't know what it meant by magnetic diamond painting plaque. And I'm thinking, strange, strange. So, yep, so we've got a birthday cake there. So if you've got a birthday, looks like we're going to be covering all events here. So that's a birthday one. Oh, we've got a little Easter bunny. So again, just goes on there. So you can, depending on your mood, just change whatever you want onto your plaque. Okay, this is a different one. This is brilliant for the kids to choose which one you're going to have. We've got a lovely autumn leaf there. Um, not quite sure if it's a maple leaf. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay, I'm running out of space here. Let's just go slightly this way a bit. All of these round. can't remember how many you said you got. Oh, we've got a four-leaf clover there, so we're looking at St. Patrick's Day on that one. Okay, or if you wanted to feel lucky. We've got a lovely sunflower. Okay, that's that one, which is really pretty. I like my sunflowers. Okay. And then, what's this one? What's this one? Oh, this is Christmas bells. This is your bow. And it, looks, it makes it look a bit like a poncettia flower. And your bells there. So that's a very Christmassy one. And then we've got another parcel. Okay, so that could be any time of year, Christmas, birthdays, whatever, anniversary, anything. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we've got a pumpkin, we've got a Halloween. Eleven. <laughs> Isn't this great? And then finally, just some lovely flowers. Twelve. So you could put one up for every month of the year. Change it up, have it however you like. I think that's great. So I'm really pleased with this. It was quite expensive though. I think this was about 22 or 24 pounds. So it was quite a bit more than your normal wreaths um, and your normal decorations. But I think with the extra magnets, so you can just have a bit of fun deciding which one you want to put on it. I think these are great. Look at that, so you've got 12 different ones to choose from. So you could decide how you're feeling that day or what celebration you've got that day and how you're going to decorate it. But yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea. Love that. And um, we've got a basic little tool kit with a few quick seal bags. So that's one up from a basic because it's got bags. And let's have a look at the jewels. Quite impressed with this. Do a bit of fun to do. Okay, so oh, we've got lots of specials, and they're all gems. They're all crystal gems. So we've got gold, pink, red, an aqua blue, another red, another aqua blue, silver, green, gold, and orange. And then we've got another pink and another red. So lots of different shading on this one. Then look at all these specials. We've got some really long, thin marquee style. We've got some green teardrops there. Okay, all faceted. We've got some little um, AB coated. That's your Aurora Borealis. Your extra iridescent coating on those. They're little marquees. And then we've got some, oh, pink look, teardrops. We've got some little green, slightly larger. They're not faceted, these, they're like a half sphere. And then we've got a red marquee. Again, not faceted. A red little round there, half sphere. Again, not faceted. Just a few little uh, round white. Um, half a sphere, a little bit like half a snowball. And then we've got some large red ones. But again, no facets on them. And some little stars. So lots of gems there. They're lovely. Impressed with that. Let me just grab a little bag to put these in. 
keep them all together. I will be labelling all these, but I won't do them at the moment. Okay, and I'll put all those in with it as well. Just keeps it together a little bit more. So that's my little welcome plaque. But uh, yeah, I like the idea of interchanging this. I mean, you could just have in plain. You don't have to have anything on at all. But I do like the fact that yeah, and it's magnetic. Making use of the tin plate. Very good. Like that. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. We'll do another couple, and then I'll do the next ones in another unboxing. So we have another wreath, and you know how I like my wreaths. Okay. That's the gem. It's got resin gems on it on specials. Very basic toolkit. No baggies with this one. But enough to do your project. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and this is Santa. Um, and I've already got one of these from Fansoles. <laughs> so it will be the same as the one I've um, unboxed from Fansoles, if you've seen that one. But we'll have a quick look at the gems. So this one will quite possibly uh, be going to uh, my daughter to do or I may do it as a present for somebody because I know people do come in and say, oh, I do like those, I do like those. Um, so yeah, I'll probably gift this one. Okay, so let's have a look at oh, lots of gems. We've got reds and orange, blue, purple, oh, hot pink. Well, not quite a hot pink, but it's near enough for a hot pink. And white, blue, 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 green, green, uh, some little AB coated marquees, some little half sphere in gold, some little uh, AB coated teardrops, some AB coated silver marquees, some lovely big, they look like pink rather than red rounds, and then your little like snowflake rounds there. Okay, so that's a wreath number one. Let's just pop that out of the way. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay. Got a lot of writing on this one. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Ah, now this is a little bit different. Okay, so just to prove I don't just do wreaths, we've got a nice bit of string there, so I think you can probably guess we're going to be hanging this one up. Um, a very basic toolkit again pen, boat, wax, our gems come nicely packaged so they've come in boxes and bubble wrapped as well um, I think you can see there they must laser cut these because we've got a little bit of a burn mark there where the laser's been probably doing that bit and a little bit here on this edge you can just see there and here but it's not showing on the front and they are white coated so your gems stay sort of sparkly on the front and this is a little star but it's a snowman star. Oh, I think that's really cute. I thought, oh, I'm going to have that. So we've got only one hole there. Right, so you must have to sort of like loop your string through and hang it on a loop, which isn't ideal. I thought really they would have put it a couple of holes so that you hang it up like that, but obviously not. So that'll be fun working that out. I may just use um, a command strip or I may just use some like fishing, invisible thread fishing wire or something just to hang this up with because that's going to be quite clunky coming through there. I'm trying to get two, two strands of that through that little hole is going to be fun as well. So, But anyway, that will come in handy. As you know, I never throw anything away. But yeah, he's a very cute little snowman. His face, uh, his eyes and his nose aren't diamond painted. But uh, all the rest of it, you're going to be putting your gems on. On your little ones. I just like the colours. I think it's very Christmassy. He's got his holly on his hat there and his lovely smiley face. It's 
Um, yeah, we've got our little star there. Let's have a look at the gems. These aren't these bags. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Okay. So, oh, look at those. Wow, wait. So we have a lovely AB coated green there. That's your Aurora Borealis, your iridescent coating on your green. And we've got an AB coated white. We've got a sparkly green. And your silver, I think they're AB coated because they're like coming out brown, uh, brown, brown, where did they get brown from? They're coming out like greens and blue. I've got a red and an orange. <laughs> that one actually is a really dark red, but I nearly said it was brown then. But yeah, I think that is a, a very, very dark red. And a slightly less dark red. <laughs> and then we've got teardrops um, in silver marquees in a small and a large and your round red half spheres and oh look at those they're good that's uh, a white ab coated half sphere so they must be going on these points here so yeah okay so that's your little snowman and if i'm not mistaken then this one is its little friend okay. so we have Oh, another great big piece of string. Another basic tool kit. And we have little Santa to match. Okay, they're an acrylic. And yeah, this one hasn't been quite so laser cut so much. Still got the hole at the top, which I say is quite strange for a great big thick piece of string. I'll have to have a look and see how they've put them or if they've put them on the wall. Oh, it's very pink, this Santa. Do you think he's been a bit embarrassed or do you think he's been running? Maybe Rudolph ran off and he's had to run after him and he's a bit red. <laughs> but they do match and I just thought these would be quite nice to hang maybe either side of the fireplace um, or either side of a picture or either side of a wreath. I've got quite a few wreaths. Um, so yeah, so we've got his, his holly, we've got his scarf on the same and we've got this lovely like florally, um, swirly, um sort of decoration on the star there and this one's got um snowflakes on his scarf the santa hasn't got snowflakes but i suppose he's made out of snow anyway we'll let him off so let's have a look at the drills on this one Oops. okay oh we've got some little blue Aqua marquees there. And, oh, we've got another AB. So we've got, yep, yeah, the blue, like midnight blue AB there. I do like that one. That seems to come a lot in special drill um, pictures. Got a couple of greens, red. Oh, look at those. Yeah, AB coated silvers. Look at those. There's like pinks and purples and greens and blues in there. Then some like very green coated AB markings there. Oh, we've got an empty one. Oh no. Oh, unless that's that one possibly. Let's have a look. Number seven. Yes, they've realised they've missed number seven look. And they've put it as a separate bag. Phew. That's good. And then some slightly bigger markings And some green half spheres there. They're not faceted. So but they were really, really cute. Okay, so there's nothing on these, but they are on the boxes, so I'm gonna have to put labels on these as well. Okay, so I'm gonna finish there on this one. And so we've got the lovely owl tin. We've got the Santa wreath, which is the second one I've got. And then we've got Santa and snowman stars. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. If you have, just give me a quick like. If you want to come back and see the rest of the unboxing from GBFKE, and I'll have to email them again. Um, I emailed them a week ago and I've not heard anything about the missing items, uh, but I did want to get on and unbag this. 
um, so I'll give them an email and I'll let you know if I hear anything um, but yeah if you want to see the rest of the unboxing and everything else I get up to if you press subscribe then you will be notified when my next videos come up but thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now